Hi everyone, in this video we're taking a look at teapot shapes and some points to consider when shopping for a teapot. If you're interested in premium tea, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos like this one each week. Tea can be brewed in many different vessels, from gaiwans and bowls to thermoses and mugs, but nothing is more popular than the teapot. With so many different shapes and styles available, knowing what to look for is important when you're shopping for a teapot. The most important consideration is how you intend to brew your tea. For British or other Western preparation methods, teapots are usually quite large, in excess of 20 ounces. These teapots are designed for Western-style brewing, where we use less tea and let it sit longer until it's strong enough to serve. On the other hand, traditional East Asian teapots are much smaller, typically between 4 to 8 ounces in volume. With these teapots, we use a higher ratio of tea leaves and much shorter infusions to get a bright, complex, and balanced taste. The teapot you choose should be suited to the way you brew your tea. For Chinese teapots, there are other considerations as well. Traditional teapots come in many different shapes, some of which are classic forms that have been passed down for centuries, while others are modern designs. The shape of your teapot is largely based on your own preference. The wider shapes are better for brewing larger tea leaves, while narrower shapes are better for smaller leaves. This applies to the size of the opening as well. Teapots with a larger mouth will fit large leaves more easily and will be easier to clean. Teapots with smaller mouths should be reserved for teas with smaller leaves. The volume of your teapot is also a consideration. Chinese teapots 5 ounces or less can usually serve no more than 4 people and are more ideal for solo brewing. Teapots larger than this can accommodate more guests. One special point to consider is the shape of the spout, which affects how the teapot pours. Shorter spouts, straighter spouts, and spouts that are truncated can dribble slightly depending on how you pour. Longer, curved, and pointed spouts can minimize this issue. Of course, the material used to craft the teapot is very important as well. We have other videos that dive into some of the most popular materials and their benefits for brewing tea. To learn more about premium teaware, visit redblossomtea.com. Make sure you leave a like and comment below if you found this video helpful, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future videos.